Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I ask you kindly to bear with me as I make a few announcements. Uh, the first one is that a dear student of mine, she is an African-American and a registered nurse, and uh, very dear and close to me, and she is in now in Mauritania, uh, Sister Karima. And uh, she is heading a group uh, uh, that is offering an Islamic holistic outreach program. Uh, this is organized by the Amina Holistic Retreat Center. And uh, they have asked me to share with you the view. Uh, they say that uh, it is founded on the principle that every disease has a cure, which is what our Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa Based upon the saying of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi every disease has a cure. And uh, our aim and our goal is to bring this to a re reality by implementing the teachings of the Quran and of the Prophet that foster such healing an environment that fosters such healing. That the body is designed by Allah to heal itself, but it must have the right food, the right environment and guidance. And so they've established this drug-free, drug-free holistic center outreach program, and uh, they need to be supported. Their goal is to act as a place of retreat for those who are seeking alternative cure an alternative care for their health issues. And those wanting to learn about preventative care and to share, inform and to exchange pertinent information pertaining to the natural healing uh, and natural living process. Uh, and so th this, this group of sisters, uh, they need to be supported. And I am um, using this opportunity to ask you to kindly make contact with them learn about the Amina Holistic Retreat Center. And uh, when you find out what they're doing, uh, join them, become part of this effort, uh, support them. They need, they need financial support, they need other kinds of support. And uh, I'm asking you to kindly help them uh, so that this beautiful effort on their part, my sisters, may be a success, inshallah. Uh, my second announcement is that uh, on Saturday, September 24th, if you are in Kuala Lumpur or you are elsewhere in Malaysia, but you can reach Kuala Lumpur, you look on my website, you'll find, inshallah, uh, a flyer. It's not there as yet, it's coming, uh, where I'll be lecturing on Islam, sorry, I'll be lecturing on Iqbal, Pakistan and the Khilafah State for the first time. This is the first time I'll be broaching this topic. And it's a very sensitive topic, yes, because we'll, be have, to, we'll have to make a critical assessment of the thought of Dr. Muhammad, Muhammad Iqbal. Um, when this lecture is delivered, wherever you are in the world, if you can help me, I need your help to get subtitles. I need subtitles in Turkish to reach the people of Turkey, in Urdu to, meet, to reach Pakistan and India, in Bengali to reach uh, the Bengali-speaking world, Tamil, and of course, Arabic. So if you are in a position to help me to put in subtitles, do please do it, and then send it to me so I can put it on my YouTube channel, inshallah. And then there's a lecture on September the 28th, Wednesday, September 28th, on an Islamic eschatological view of the state of the world today. Uh, that lecture will also be here in Kuala Lumpur. The video, uh, sorry, the flyer is already on my website. So go to my website and you'll find out the location. The time is at 8 p.m. Finally, I have the good news that on November the 12th, November the 12th uh, in Geneva, uh, uh, we'll have a joint seminar. Uh, Myself and uh, Mr. Monsieur Aline Soral, the famous French philosopher and activist, uh, we will jointly conduct the seminar in French 
and in English uh, on the topic Beyond Pax Americana, the future of Europe. What is our Islamic eschatological view of the future of Europe beyond Pax Americana? That will be on November 12th. The flyer will be on my website soon, inshallah. But it's not been organized by my students. This is being organized by uh, Monsieur Soral's organization, uh, Recons uh, Liber um, uh, Contra Culture. Uh, then on November the 14th, again in Geneva, this time it will be a, a seminar that I will conduct uh, at the, the Hall of the Saint de l'Espérance in Ovive, on the other side of the lake. Le Centre de l'Espérance, where I had my two previous seminars. Uh, and this will be at 7 o'clock in the evening on November the 14th. Take a note, November the 14th at 7 p.m. at the Centre de l'Espérance. And the topic will be the Quran and Awwal zaman the Quran and the beginning of history. So if you travel to Geneva for the seminar on the 12th, and you're staying in Geneva for the seminar on the 14th, then we have a nice surprise for you that on the evening of November the 13th, we'll all meet at the, the Sal Sabil Halal Restaurant. Uh, it's very close to the Palais des Nations uh, in Geneva. The Palais des Nations is walking distance. And it's across the road from my institute where I used to study study as a student, the Graduate Institute of International Studies. They now have a new campus, which is directly across the road. So the restaurant is Sal Sabil, Halal Restaurant, and uh, it's on the evening of the 13th. Uh, and each person who attends will, of course, help to pay, pay your share of the bill. And we have a dinner. We have a chance for everybody to meet with each other, wherever you're coming from. And you could also spend the evening with me. My last word to you, if you don't have this book, please get it. And please study this book, Methodology for Study of the Quran. This is essential reading for you. If you don't have the means to buy the book, send me an email and we'll send it to you free of charge. Please, thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.